How's it going guys? Angus here from Makers Muse, where we bring you 3D printing tips and reviews, gaming hacks and makery goodness. So I've been involved in the 3D printing community for several years now, and I wanted to kick off the hashtag 3D printing on YouTube tag. This is the original, and I hope to see you lots more, so let's get started. Question number one, what was the first thing you 3D printed? In my first year of uni, I knew of 3D printers, but I couldn't justify the huge cost that it was to get stuff printed. However, in second year, I designed these little connectors that were an alternative to T-slots in laser cut acrylic because they kept breaking on me. So these are very small things, but they did need to be 3D printed. So Adam Goodrum at the Industrial Design Workshop at UTS was kind enough to chuck them onto the Stratasys for me. And the next day I came back to these little things and they just blew my mind. They were perfect, exactly what I wanted and fitted flawlessly. And that opened up the whole gateway for me for 3D printing. Later on, I ended up getting lots of them printed in SLS, and I actually ended up doing a huge robotics research project based on these things. In fact, there's actually a pack bot somewhere out there with an enclosure held together with these things, which I think is pretty damn cool. Question number two, a popular 3D printer that you don't like. MakerBot 5th Gen. The horrible problems with this machine have finally come to light. However, MakerBot was in denial for ages. Basically, my experiences were completely shocking. I went through four extruder heads before finally forcing a refund out of the poor reseller I bought the machine from. It never worked properly out of the box, and also the fact that it takes so long to start a print and it burns a hole in the build tech doing its nozzle height detection. I feel terribly sorry for any schools that have bought these machines. Yeah, sorry guys. Question number three, a popular 3D printer that everyone seems to hate but you love. I tend to feel a lot of people poo-poo the Up Mini due to its really small build volume. However, I have not yet come across a printer in all the years I've been involved in 3D printing with such a good price to performance ratio, especially in printing ABS plastic. My ultimate dream is to have like an entire room filled with 50 up minis. Seriously, that's like $50,000, which is still half the price of a Fortis 250. You know, I know which one I'd prefer. Question number four, what is your must have 3D printing gadget? Hot air gun. You can use one of these to heat up your print bed faster, retweak your 3D printed parts, return color to parts after pulling the rafts away, and more. You 100% need a hot air gun, just don't try drying your hair with this. It will set your hair on fire. Question number five, best free or low cost 3D printing software? Well, it's hardly going to be surprising to most of you, but I just love MeshMixer. It's a total beast of a program for 100% free. You can do almost anything to your 3D printing files with it, and I just love it to bits, so be sure to check out my tutorials on MeshMixer if you haven't already seen them. Question number six, best 3D printing tip. Don't skimp on filament. Often, complaints over a machine not working or printing badly is due to poor quality filament. If you buy a Robox, use Robox filament. If you buy an Up, use Up filament. Sure, it might cost a bit more, but you're gonna get the highest possible quality because the machines are calibrated for that specific type of filament. Now, I'm not saying you can't hack these printers to use other brands. Just keep in mind that it's gonna take a lot of tweaking to get any comparable prints from really cheap plastics. And some really, really cheap filaments will straight out just damage your print heads because they're so poor quality. So watch out for that. So thanks for watching guys. I'm gonna tag Jaywall at Print That Thing, Calvin over at Make It With Calvin, and No and Pedro over at Adafruit. And I'd love to hear your answers to those questions in 3D printing. And also for everyone else, you can comment below. I'd love to hear your answers to these questions. Catch you later.